Bien. in Dallas, Texas. It's the Soccer Champions Tour 2022 as FC Barcelona takes on Juventus. Hello, everyone. Dave Denholm alongside Matt Lawrence for this match. Matt, you've seen these two teams in their preseason here in 2022. What have you noticed out of these two clubs coming into this match here in Dallas? Well, certainly Barcelona were incredibly impressive against Real Madrid. Look, we know they're playing catch-up with Real Madrid. That's why they've signed Hapinha. That's why they've signed Lewandowski to hopefully catch up real with Real Madrid domestically, overtake them in La Liga, and then hopefully as well, overtake them in the Champions League. They were very strong. Real Madrid did not have a shot on target against Barcelona, but again, we can't get carried away, Dave. This is just pre-season. 
um, a victory by uh, Juve Juventus over Chivas. You watched that match. What did you see from the Italian Giants? Juventus were just too good for Chivas. Uh, Chivas had only just played two days beforehand as well. They're four games into their season, playing 48 hours beforehand. It was very much a, a makeshift starting lineup. Juventus were impressive, but they were playing against a very much lackluster Chivas side. And Juventus are the same as Barcelona. They're playing catch up. They've got to catch up against Inter Milan. They've got to catch up with AC Milan. And then, of course, they can't get knocked out in the early stage of the Champions League. I think you've got two very similar sides here within their respective leagues, playing catch-up with the big boys. And these two teams like to think they're the big boys as well. Crowd getting into it now as they sense the two teams about to rush through the tunnel here onto the pitch at the historic Cotton Bowl, and it is warm. They're met by a warm welcome on many levels. Temperatures just above triple digits at the start of this match, Matt. But plenty of coverage on the pitch, a lot of uh, nice... Uh, shade here at the Cotton Bowl, ironically. There's some shade, Dave, that's for sure, but it's still about 175 <laughs> degrees down there. It's incredibly hot, it's humid, it's a little bit sticky, sticky, that's for sure, Dave. But look, I think both of these teams will play 45 minutes, one 11, 45 minutes, another 11. So you give it your all for 45 minutes, and you know you're then going to be relieved, and it will be a different set of players coming up for the second half. And here comes Barcelona and Juventus. Back at the Cotton Bowl for this one, just moments away from Barcelona and Juventus, part of the Soccer Champions Tour. Let's go to the starting lineups for Barcelona on Mark Andre Ter Stegen in net, Jordi Alba, Eric Garcia, Andres Christensen, the new signing, and Roberto. In the midfield, it's the captain, Sergio Busquets, who really runs the show. Yeah, he really does. And in the last game, he's 34 years of age. In the last game, he had Gavi one side of him and Pedri the other side of him. He's 34. The two youngsters were 36, so just two years older between the two players. But yeah, but Busquets runs the show. But I'm going to be really intrigued to see Garcia and Christensen as well, the two centre-halves. They both played in the last game against Real Madrid. Robert Lewandowski will look for his first goal with Barcelona. Here's Juventus' starting 11 for uh, Massimiliano Allegri, Wojciech Chesney in goal. Leonardo Bonucci back as the captain in the midfield or in the center of the defense, rather, after not playing in the last match. Yeah, look, we talk about born leaders, and Bonucci is a born leader. Now Chiellini has obviously gone to LAFC as well. It's all down to Bonucci. He will master and he will patrol that back line as well, with Chesney just in behind him as well. Look, Chesney hardly had a shot to save against Chivas, and Ter Stegen's just about removed himself off the deck chair after playing against Real Madrid. Didn't have a save to make. So hopefully these two goalkeepers will be put, you know, tested a little bit today, Dave. Keep your eye out for former PSG man, of course, Angel Di Maria, the Argentine international up front for Juventus. They're going to need him offensively this season, Matt. It is a team that really is still trying to figure out, besides Dusan Vlaovic, who's a little banged up, they don't know what's going on offensively yet. 
No, they don't. And look, in the last game against Chivas, you granted a, a lacklustre Chivas side, but Di Maria and Pogba were the driving force going forward. And obviously, no Pogba with a knee injury, which is a big shame, of course. But Di Maria, maybe 34 years of age, but got real quality still in those boots. The referee for this one in the middle of the pitch right now is Elton Garcia, USL Referee of the Year in 2020. The fourth official is Brandon Gardner. Jennifer Garner and Matthew Seam are the assistant referees. And Garcia will look to the sideline here and the fourth official to determine when we're going to kick this off. Juventus in the white, Barcelona in the uh, yellow colored jerseys. As Juventus will kick off here in this first half. Good crowd here, heavily weighed, weighted towards Barcelona for this match, no doubt. Absolutely, we've seen about three or four Juventus shirts as well as the 11 down there on the field, but that's about it. It is a plethora, it's absolutely raging, ram-packed full of Barcelona fans here, Dave. And we are underway at the Cotton Bowl. Played back to new signing Bremer. Came over from Torino after Matthias De Ligt left the club for Bayern Munich. Into the corner there, cleared up by Juventus. Barcelona settle it through Busquets, of course, such a rock-solid midfielder in that center of the mid. One of my favorite signings of all world football this offseason, Frank Kessi on the sideline gets touched away. It'll be a throw-in for Barcelona. Yeah, Kessi's an absolute beast. He offers something a little bit different for Barcelona in the middle of midfield. He can get forward. He's almost a box-to-box -box midfielder. He's very good at keeping the ball, as we're seeing here, but also we know he's got an eye for goal as well. And, of course, he knows he's got that safety magnet of Busquets just in behind him as well. Christensen with a pass forward there, touched away nicely. But Dennis Zakaria, and then he gets fouled. So it'll be a free kick for Juventus. We've played just a minute here at the Cotton Bowl. No score, Barcelona and Juventus. The Soccer Champions Tour continues here in 2022. the football now Juventus middle of the pitch there nearly stolen away Nicolo Rovella many Juventus fans and people at the club really high on him as a midfielder that's a good steal there good defensive work by Barcelona in the offensive half Kessie out wide Aubameyang be interesting to see how he fits in now that Robert Lewandowski of course here the big signing from Bayern Munich. It'd be quite easy to say he doesn't. He doesn't fit in. We know he's out there playing on the left-hand side, of course, but whether that happens during the season, we don't know. You bring in the best centre forward in the world, possibly in Lewandowski, maybe Haaland at Manchester City, and you then get hung out to dry a little bit. You've got to go and play on the left-hand side or maybe substitute quite a lot for Aubameyang. Maybe a little early for these Olays, but they are raining down from the Barca fans. Here they come, Barcelona on the wing. Shot just wide. This money Dembele certainly has the green light whenever he wants it here on this right side. Dragged it wide there, and Chesney will have the goal kick. Yeah, maybe early on in the season, it is still pre-season, but Dembele absolutely oozing with confidence. Cuts inside Quadrado, but really cuts across the ball. He drags it a long way wide, but he does have that confidence. You don't mind him shooting this early on, but next time you hope he tests the goalkeeper. Alexandro, the undercut foul there, so it'll be a free kick Barcelona. Not much in it, certainly a foul, but no ill intent there on Sergio Roberto. Barcelona back on the ball. New signing Christensen down the line here to Dembele again. Dembele just two goals last year, but 13 assists. Stolen away there nicely by Bremer. We're going to say that a lot this season in Serie A. You don't pay nearly $50 million for somebody unless they're a good player, and Bremer's a very, very good player. Good footballer, good defender. Giveaway from Locatelli there. Barcelona still on the front foot early in this match. Oh, good pass there from Dembele out wide. Cross block there by Zakaria into the corner. Dembele on it. Aubameyang. Well, they're very much starting where they left off Barcelona. They're incredibly dominant against Real Madrid and already, yes, only a few minutes in, I know, but really dominant. Playing on the front foot here, squeezing high up the pitch, pressurising Juventus inside their own 18-yard box as well. That is what gave them the success against Real Madrid. They're having success again here. Yes, only four minutes in, but you can see the pattern that they've already mapped out. 
You mentioned that victory over Real Madrid in the Soccer Champions Tour 1-0. Hafinha with the goal. He is available on the substitutes bench tonight for this one, not in the starting 11. And what a goal it was on the bad giveaway, frankly, but what a finish. Fifth minute, no score in this one. Again, Barcelona deep in the UVA defensive half. Bit of clearance there. Good pressure here from Locatelli to try to break free now to Di Maria out there. You see Xavi, what a legend. Barcelona coach has to get back to the top of La Liga. Let's be frank, they were way behind Real Madrid. You mentioned it, Matt. Exactly, a long way behind, 13 points behind Real Madrid. They have been behind Real Madrid for the last three seasons, right, whether it be Real Madrid, whether it be Atletico Madrid, and that's not just domestically, that's in the Champions League as well. And when you're spending all that money, when you're 10 figures in debt as well and you're still spending big, you better be successful, Dave. Absolutely. Giveaway there at midfield. Forward now, coming off his line is Chesney 25 yards away and does a good job there to clean it up. It will be a throw-in for Barcelona. Quickly taken on that far side. Busquets. The new signing from Chelsea, Andres Christensen. Forward there, not wide to Dembele here on the right. He's been very active. Good flick forward. Ooh, Dembele. Read it with Lewandowski, but just a little late. Into the corner, and Juventus will let it ride over the touchline for the goal kick. Robert Lewandowski, the big signing from Bayern Munich. Lewandowski made it known he wanted to come to FC Barcelona. What a legend, over 600 goals in his career. Made it known, wouldn't go anywhere else, <laughs> refused to. I'm being Threw his polite. toys out of the pram. <laughs> I'm being polite, man. You're being polite and, and I like it. I'm cynical, Matt, I can be cynical, but yes, he did, he made it known, didn't he? Busquets with the steal, Lewandowski. Oh, just over the bar from 22. Looking for that first goal for Barcelona. He might have thought he had it there. Yeah, and he doesn't care whether it's training, whether it's a pre-season friendly, whether it's the first game of the season. He wants to hit the back of the net. You saw him just sizing up the top corner there. Uses the player as a little block, a wall to curl around, but just got it a yard over the crossbar there, Lewandowski. He's desperate though, Dave. He's desperate for that first goal. Another giveaway, Barcelona, Dembele. Shot blocked there by Alexandro to flex out to Kessie on the far side. Barcelona on the front foot and then some here in the early moments. Into the corner again. Cross just too far for everybody with the yellow shirt. Juventus cleared out here, Cuadrado. Playing more in the midfield role here tonight. We've seen him in the backfield for Juventus. Yeah, predominantly as a right back as well. He's exactly. now playing On almost as a left midfielder, the top of the three, really. Moise Keen playing through the middle and Cuadrado on this left-hand side. Alexandro, good work with Locatelli and Cuadrado here. But then another giveaway. Into the middle, Lewandowski onside. Onto the right foot. Stood up nicely by Bremer there. Good defensive work by the former Torino man. And now Juventus, finally across midfield, Di Maria. That's too far for Keane, he liked the, uh, the thought. Di Maria just a little bit too far there from near midfield. Barcelona comfortably back on the football. We played nearly eight minutes at the Cotton Bowl, no score. We've played for eight minutes and Barcelona have played for seven and a half of them. It's been all Barcelona, that's not even being flippant. Barcelona incredibly dominant here. Juventus really struggling to get a foothold in this game. The youngster Nico, good job there, getting out to Sergio Roberto near midfield. Christensen. Nico pushed off the football there. Might have thought that was a foul. The referee says play on. Cuadrado mishits that one. Throw in Barcelona. Massimiliano Allegre, work to do. Juventus, two straight fourth place finishes in Serie A. That is certainly not what they're used to after nine consecutive Serie A victories. It's not as I say that both of these sides are in similar positions, domestically speaking. They've got to get one over on their rivals. Obviously, Barcelona got to get one over on Real Madrid. Juventus, not only AC Milan, into Milan, and at times Napoli as well. 
They've been left by the wayside in the last season or so. Ter Stegen, a little loose with it near midfield. On the attack, Juventus. Slow build up here out wide to Quadrado. Not a lot of movement inside for Juventus. Quadrado patient to Maria. Sandro. Keane is in the middle. A oh, good ball, Di Maria. First shot blocked, and Stegen comes out and grabs it. That's better from Juventus there. Much better from Juventus, and you see Di Maria, when he gets the ball here in the penalty area, he picks his head up, but he hasn't really got anybody to find. The pullback's not there, so he tries to go it alone, but it's very hard to strike the ball through Christensen and through Ter Stegen at such a tight angle, but he didn't have anything else on. Dave, I think you said it. You, you said how slow it was, little movement off the ball. I think that absolutely sums Juventus up at the moment. There isn't a great deal for the man in possession of the ball. So little movement ahead of them. And that's when they have the ball. And that hasn't been a great deal so far. Barcelona back in possession. Just past the 10-minute mark here in the first half. Dembele. Good switch, Christensen. Obemian. Knock down header to Jordi Alba. Patience here from Barcelona. Lewandowski directing traffic for Dembele. Ah, loses the football again. Well, that's to, this is where to try it, though. In the final third of the field, in pre-season, we've seen Lewandowski and Dembele taking too many touches and giving the ball away. Shot from Aubameyang, just wide. And again, Barcelona close here in the opening minutes. Another giveaway from Juventus. Absolutely, all about the high pressure of Barcelona. Juventus giving the ball away time and time again. And this is where Aubameyang wants to be, in the centre of the park, in between the widths of the penalty area. There, in between the width of the goalpost, just drags the shot a little bit wide. It's early, but it feels like the goal is coming already. It really does. Look, if the goal's coming, it's coming from Barcelona, that's for certain. They've been so dominant. I love the way they're pushing high up the field as well. Juventus are a really good football inside and they're struggling to get out of their own half. It doesn't matter how good a side you are, if you press high and you press together and you're following the same tactical makeup, same tactical plan, it's really hard to play through teams. Barcelona certainly look well drilled in these first 12 minutes of this. Forward pass their breaking lines, Locatelli, good turn. Ball down the middle, Keane, well broken up there by Christensen. Still, Di Maria. Di Maria with the left foot. Saved for Stegen as he gets down to his left. That is better again from Juventus, and Di Maria again a big part of it. Exactly. Loves finding those little pockets of space, doesn't he, Di Maria? It takes a little bit of a deflection there, which makes the save slightly harder for Ter Stegen. But 102 minutes in, Ter Stegen's finally had a save to make. Again, Locatelli breaking up a play there for Barcelona. Possession to Quadrado. Good turn there. Forward now. Good switch, Quadrado. Quadrado thought about taking it with the right foot. It was a wicked angle. And that gave Dembele time to step in and knock it out of play. 13 minutes gone, no score, but Juventus just now starting to turn it up a little bit offensively and getting back into this one. It'll be Alexandro for the throw. Keane. Kessie steps in and takes it away for Barcelona. Oh, bad giveaway, Dembele. Not a lot of space going forward. Now Juventus a little bit sloppy with the football. Cleaned up there nicely. Bonucci, the captain. You wonder how much he's missing, Giorgio Chiellini, after all those years and all those titles. Long ball down the far right side, just a little too far. 
I can just imagine them in the dressing room on a match day, sat next to each other, on the, the training ground, sat next to each other, sat next to each other on the back of the coach, probably playing cards on every away game. I bet he's missing him massively, Bonucci. But look, he's a born leader, isn't he? Indeed. Captain tonight. Foul there was it. Juventus. Caria too much. Kessie there, the foul and a free kick now for Barcelona. Again, just a late reach there from behind. Nothing malicious. Kessie gets caught. He's up, he's okay. 14 and a half minutes gone here. Barcelona have certainly been knocking on the door. A couple of missed opportunities. Here they go again, Nico. Doesn't control that one. Juventus will play it back to Chesney. Of course, former Arsenal and Roma keeper. And now he's going to play it out. It does look like... Front Kessie. I think they're saying that the ball was a little bit flat. Oh, looks, so he just was, dismissed okay. the ball. I went to look for Kessie after the... You, know, you always think it might be someone injured. And Kessie had just taken that knock. He's fine. So they do replace the football over there on the far side. I half wondered, I mean, this is whether they were going to have a little bit of a drinks interlude here 15 minutes in. That's why the game slowed a little bit. It is so hot, it is so sticky here. There's no way they could keep that tempo up Barcelona. That's why they've just sat back a little bit in the last few minutes and let Juventus into the game. Chesney cheered the fair play from Aubameyang there to throw it back to Juventus, but a quick steal here from Barcelona. Oh, a good interception there, Zakaria. Alexandro tucked inside here, middle of the field. Di Maria, look at the speed. 34 years old, lays it off to Quadrado. In the area, Quadrado. Lays it back through the middle and no one there for Juventus. Out towards midfield, it'll be a throw in the Italian side, but they were close to the first goal of this match. Well, and you saw Quadrado as well. He's playing on the left-hand side, but he's desperate to maneuver the ball back onto his right foot. He laid it into the path of Di Maria, but Di Maria had a little swing at it and missed. But Di Maria, you're right, the pace of him. He may be 34 years of age, but there's a plenty of pace left in those old legs of his. Sky there. Busquets tries to head it forward. Barcelona cleans up the second football. Alba. And a player is down this time for Juventus. Well, it's sensible for the referee as well. He knows it's a pre-season friendly. He knows it's incredibly hot out here. It just gives the players a little chance to go over and take liquids, take fluids on. Nicola Rovella here. Let's get a replay of that. Yeah, just went up strong with Kessie. And again, not a lot in it. He just took the arm to the head there. Unintentional from Kessie, but they'll get a good check of Rovella to make sure he's all right. Yeah, this is where Quadrado was just desperate to get the ball back onto his right foot. If he was left footed, he would have gone outside of the player and had a shot on target. He kept trying to maneuver the ball back inside, laid it into the path of Di Maria, and he just swung and missed. Thankfully, it looks like Rovella's okay. And of course, we will have a hydration break in both halves. That's not unexpected on a night like tonight. Still a little ways to go for that. Well, that's just for you and I, Dave. <laughs> I'm sweating through the shirt, Matt. Barcelona I can, I can <laughs> see. Back on the football. 19th minute. Out wide, Sergio Roberto. Dembele on this right side. They've been busy. Quadrado getting back defensively there, not going to play. Well, look, Dave, I'm a fine one to talk. I went with Olive Green. Goodness knows what this is going to look like come out at the end of 90 minutes. Rookie. <laughs> Very much so. Didn't even wear an undershirt. Roberto gets clipped there from Quadrado. The referee, Garcia, comes over. Just a talking to here to Quadrado. Roberto will get up and try to walk this one off. 
again, a little chippy here, but nothing, it seems, malicious between these two sides. That was a bad foul. That was. I, I'm with you. Nothing too malicious, but I think Quadrado knew what he was going to do there. Just a studs down the back of the Achilles on Roberto's right foot. Certainly a sore one. But look, you've got some very experienced players out here. Rather inexperienced players as well, but no one wants to get injured in pre-season, that's for sure. Of course, professional pride. Of course, you want to win. You want to win every 50-50 tackle. But I don't think there's anybody going to do anything too stupid out there today. Yeah, before the regular season starts, a victory is no injuries. Yes. Fitness, match fitness and no injuries, exactly that. Chesney plays it out. Bremer. Over 40 million euro signing for Torino. It's 14. Nice job holding that up. Still pressure from Barcelona. But Keen does a nice job to create some space. Racing forward and he's fouled there. Sergio Roberto puts out the hand like, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at that move. What's a key talent there on display? It really is, and he's so quick over those first few yards. But I do sometimes think he's got those first few yards and he's got the blinkers on still. I know he got fouled, but he doesn't really pick his head up, see what's around him. He's got his head down. He's just running with the ball, whether he hits somebody, whether somebody tackles him, whether somebody fouls him. I think that's something he needs to add to his game. That's just that awareness of what's going on around him. A couple of players who had really good games here in North America. They are being rested. It's Pedri and Ronald Araujo. Both of them done very well. Barcelona with a 6-0 victory over Inter Miami. Followed that up with the 1-0 win in the preseason Clasico in Vegas. Matt, you mentioned it. Really a dominant performance from Barcelona in that one. It was. They were absolutely fantastic. They were dominant all over the field, statistically speaking, as well as the scoreline. I know it was only 1-0, but they didn't have a shot on target, Real Madrid. They didn't even have a corner. Locatelli loosens up Sandro on the left. Sandro into the 18. Touched away, Quadrado. Juventus still in possession here. Rovella. It seems as though anything positive going forward for Juventus has actually started quite often with Locatelli so far tonight. It is, he's, a, he's a magical player, Locatelli. But also, you have to credit Barcelona as well. They had an awful lot of possession there, Juventus, but they just held firm Barcelona. They didn't dive in, and they sent Juventus all the way back to keeper Chesney, and they're doing, again, they're doing the same again here, Dave. Here is that pressure. Chesney has to just clear it with the left foot down the line. Good work by Sandro, and then Quadrado to hold it up and throw the foul. No, it looked like the referee Garcia was just about to pull the card out finally on that one for Eric Garcia, but he elects not to. Right through the back of Quadrado there. Yeah, it's a really silly foul from Garcia. There's absolutely no need. All he needs to do is hold Quadrado up. He's facing his own goal, Quadrado. No need for him to go through the back of the player. And I think you're right. The referee was going to give a yellow if it was a, a, a match day situation, if it was a La Liga game, if it was a Serie A game, that, or a Champions League game, that would have been a booking. Chesney. Good flick forward here. Again, Locatelli. Di Maria. Great pass. Quadrado's outside. Quadrado. Misses wide. And the offside flag does come up late. Well, the flag came Dave. up late and would not have counted. Initially, Dave, I didn't think that was offside. Yes, the linesman's given it. We know there's no VAR, but initially I thought it was a really well-timed run from Quadrado. Very close. Just past the midway point of the first half, and Juventus close to taking the lead. Quadrado couldn't finish it anyway, but the offside was close. Flag did come up late, but there is no VAR, as Matt mentioned. Out wide, Jordi Alba, Bemian. Now all of a sudden, Barcelona unable to hang onto the football much. A foul call there. Let's take a look at that offside. Great call. It is, and it's clear as day. What do I know, Dave? It and the flag did come up early, to be fair. It did, it did come up early. He was very short. 
very self-aware, the assistant referee on the far side. And anyway, Quadrado missed the effort. He wasn't to know at the time that he was offside. I'm sure he would have had a little inkling that he was offside. Well, i got to be honest, Matt. I thought he was onside as well. I 100% thought he was onside. I thought he timed his run well. We both missed it. Kudos to the assistant referee on the far side. Here comes Juventus again on this near side. Sandra. Oh, good layoff. Di Maria. Just let the ball get away from him momentarily. Locatelli again. Spots out the correct pass here on the near side. Quadrado back to work. Di Maria with the back heel is cleared away. Oh, Juventus feeling good about themselves right now. 25th minute, still no score. Locatelli again, Di Maria. Thought about the cross, pulls it back. Novella. Good square here, but it Barcelona now on the back foot here. We have not said that much so far. No, and they are on the back foot, but I like what they're doing here, Barcelona. They're just sitting off. They're soaking up the pressure at the moment. They've got that solid bank of four. Right now, it's a solid bank of five as well with a four in, in front of them. It's almost 5-4-1 out of possession of the ball, Barcelona. Because Juventus haven't really created that much, but Di Maria is finding pockets and pockets of space. He does it so well. Quadrado again to Di Maria. The turn, team. That's well read there by Garcia. Kessie, a huge part of that Serie A championship for AC Milan last season. Skets. Alba will have to retreat momentarily here. Juventus, higher line, but here comes up with another dusky turn. I have not heard much from Lewandowski thus far. And it's not just Lewandowski who's desperate to score. His teammates are desperate for him to score as well. Every time Kessie gets the ball, every time he picks his head up, he looks central. He tries to get the ball into Lewandowski. But you're right, Dave, you've hardly mentioned his name. You read out the team sheet, the starting 11 at the beginning of the game. Apart from that, he hasn't done a great deal. Chesney forward. Many of you are wondering, Weston McKinney not in the starting 11. Paul Pogba is not available. He did not make the trip. He had suffered a knee injury. They're still waiting on word on how severe that is. That's a blow for Juventus, no doubt. The free transfer from Manchester United. A foul there on Juventus. You tell you a little late on that tackle. Yeah, not bad business at all, is it, from Juventus? Get him on a free from Manchester United, sell him back to Man United for $115 million and then get him back on a free. Economics 101, Dave. That's Portuguese club good economics right there. Well, it's certainly not Barcelona club economics, that's for certain. I'll tell you what, if I hold a garage sale, I want the Portuguese football clubs to run it. Magnificent work financially in the transfer market for many of them. Ball cannot be kept in play. It'll be a throw in for Juventus. 27 and a half minutes gone at the Cotton Bowl. Dave Denholm and Matt Lawrence with you here on FS2. No score. Barcelona and Juventus. Part of the Soccer Champions Tour 2022. And after some rocky first few minutes, Juventus have really settled in here in this first half. Absolutely, thoroughly concur. They've been the better side, if anything, Juventus in the last 10 or 15 minutes. They're certainly dominating possession at the moment, just as I say that. They give the ball away. Oh, good step up, Rovella. Quadrado. Caria, time to turn. Perfect pass out wide. Here comes Juventus. Good cross in. Keane! Cannot get enough on it. Garcia got down hard, and he's a little slow to get up. Actually, that was uh, Christensen, and now Keane is down. Well, this is a terrific ball played in with the outside of the left foot, just in behind that back line of Barcelona. Legs. No surprise again that it's that man, Di Maria. But also, that's why Moise Keane is not a top draw centre forward. A swing and a miss there for Moise Keane, just about misses it with the right foot, hits his left shin pad.
And the referee is going to say it's hydration break time here. As two players still down at the six, legs tangled there on that play between Mosey Keen and Andres Christensen getting checked out by the training staff. So both teams will take the hydration break. Matt, you just, just summed it up a few moments ago. Juventus back in this match. What does Barcelona need to do now to get it back to those first few minutes when they were on the front foot? Well, I think it's going to be very difficult because of the heat, because of the humidity. The reason they were so successful in the first 10 or 15 minutes because they were pushed so high up the field, really pressurizing Juventus. I don't want to quite say they've run themselves ragged and they can't do it anymore, but it is so hot. It is sticky. I can't emphasize enough how hot and humid it is here. Look, we know that these players are used to playing in a certain amount of, of heated conditions, but this is another level, Dave, as you're fanning yourself off as we're standing here. But you also have to know that they likely know that it's probably 45 and done yes, for these fellas. Absolutely, it, it is. I would imagine that there's every chance that we see two new sets of 11 in the second half, certainly with this heat, heat humidity. We know the modern football team will have the nutritionists, will have the fitness coaches out there monitoring everything. And I think you'd almost be foolish to expect a player to go a full 90 here. Possibly one or two of them may go 60. Juventus actually trained at Washburn Stadium not far from the Cotton Bowl on the campus of SMU, so certainly got used to a little bit of this heat within the last few days here in Dallas. Right now, still no score. We're past the 30-minute mark in the hydration break currently. There will be one each half. You add that on in the stoppage time at the end of each half. Both teams getting a talking to from their managers. You gotta take advantage of the coaching time. Any coaching time you get in the preseason, you can see Allegri and Xavi both going at it with their clubs. This is where they earn the money, isn't it? This is almost uh, an extension of a half-time, or it's a little break just before half-time, obviously, just to get those points across. And I think Allegri right now will be the happier of the two managers, that's for sure. But we just saw that cross from Di Maria with that outside of the left foot, just curling it in behind the back line. If he's curling that into Lewandowski, it's one nothing. Lewandowski's whipping that into the corner of the goal, and that is 1-0. And we do have a substitution for Barcelona. In fact, Sergio Dest coming in for Sergio Roberto. American international Sergio Dest, of course, went through the Ajax youth system before transferring over to Barcelona. That was a very pleasant surprise in the world of football for American football. Certainly not a surprise that Dest is absolutely talented enough. But whenever Barcelona comes calling, that is big news. It, it really is, and, and he is talented, and he is one of uh, not that many players in the modern game who is naturally two-footed as well. We saw it in the last game against Real Madrid. He doesn't mind going to the byline, crossing with his right foot, cutting inside and shooting with his left. Now, it's, does he play a whole hour now? It's 58 minutes, 59 minutes left of the game. Barca has more than 22 players available tonight, so it may be a fact that he gets 60 minutes potentially. We'll keep an eye on that in the second half and see when he gets subbed out. If he does, indeed, may get less than those 60 minutes, may only play 45. Forward now for Barcelona. It's Lewandowski all the way back to midfield here. A couple of former Dortmund uh, front runners here, Obama Yang and Lewandowski. Back here to Christensen. Christensen and Keane got up and were fine. That's good news. After tangling legs there at the six on a Juventus foray forward just minutes ago here. We've had the hydration break. We're back at it. A little bit more pep in the step of Barcelona here after the hydration break. It's Dest. First time really on the football. Out wide Dembele. Dembele. Dembele cutting it back. In the 18. Dembele. Shot. Individually from Usmane Dembele, it's 1-0. Assist to the hydration break, Dave. I think that after the hydration break, they were very much on the front foot, Barcelona. So, Gino Dest, does he get an assist there? 
But what an individual moment of magic here from Dembele. Here he is, Dest. He'll claim that assist, lays it into Dembele. Now it's all about that young man. Twinkle toed, fleet of foot. And from that angle, he shouldn't be able to score. Chesney's not going to be happy with that. Cuts it back onto his right foot. It's a really tight angle. Yes, he smashes it underneath the goalkeeper. But the goalkeeper has to stand up big and strong there, not get beaten at that near post. Usmani Dembele, 32 goals and 150 appearances for Barcelona. Normally a setup man. We mentioned a 13 assists last season, and he does it himself here tonight. And Barcelona have the 1 0 lead here in the first half. And we saw him do it in the opening five or ten minutes, and he went the other way. He took it inside onto his left foot and struck. So that's always keeping the defender second guessing. If you can go inside or go outside, I said Des can do it, certainly Dembele can do it. Initially went inside onto his left, cuts it back here onto his right. Yes, a good finish, but you have to question the goalkeeper here, Chesney. Sensational play by Dembele. Maybe caught Chesney a little bit there. Barcelona back on it. Giveaway there, Lewandowski. Laying it down on Bemian kick there. A good turn to carry on. Space for Juventus. Quadrado. 1v1 with Des Quadrado. Barcelona back to help out defensively. Well, where Dembele or Dest can go inside or outside, Quadrado can only go inside onto his right foot. Doesn't keep the defender second guessing at all. You know exactly what he's going to do. He only stands on that left foot of his. 34-year-old Colombian uh, renewed his contract with Juve all the way back in April, all the way through this season. Good work there defensively by Dest to Dembele. The crowd loves it as Dembele working through the Juventus defense again here to midfield to Kessi. Aubameyang. Patience here from Barcelona. Lewandowski trying to turn his defender out wide and he does. Lewandowski. Provider. Just out of the reach of Nico there. And a foul is called. And Serginho Des a little too anxious there. But this is how this is how desperate Lewandowski is to get in the game though, isn't it? This is the goal though from Dembele. No way in the world that he should be able to score from there. Yes, he strikes it well, but he strikes it through the goalkeeper. Chesney gets down really late there. He has to be saving that. A top draw goalkeeper saves that. If it's Manuel Neuer, if it's Ter Stegen, if it's Edison, Allison, they save that. Busquets. Great switch. Aubameyang, 1v1. Danilo. Good ball movement. Alba. Cut up there by Lopatelli again. And the defense is just clearing lines there for a little break defensively. 38th minute. They trail 1 0 on the goal from Usmani Dembele. For large portions of this game, poor old Moise Keane is plowing that lone furrow up there. He really is. He's being marked by Garcia, which means then Christensen can drop off, or Garcia can get in front of Keane, and Christensen goes behind him. It's really, really hard for Moise Keane. Throw in Juventus. Alexandro. You mentioned Bremer from Torino, one of the best defensive teams in Serie A last season. Just a little short for Di Maria there. Still in control of the ball. Di Maria, haven't mentioned his name in the last 10 or 15 minutes. When anything has been going well for Juventus, it goes through Di Maria. And Di Maria has been finding those pockets of space in the middle of the field. Now he's out there hooking the touchline, getting chalk on his boots. I want to see him more in the centre of the park. Manucci starts up with a good ball. Look at Telly out wide. Quadrado. Cross. Keane. Tied. Told you he can kick it with his left foot. Boys, the Keen kicks it right through the back of the net. 39th minute. We are all level. It's a terrific cross, this from Quadrado. But Serginho Dest isn't close enough. 
doesn't he gets tucked far too far in here Serginho just leaves himself far too much to do to get across this is really half-hearted just dangling a leg out that's poor defending from Des. but what a great cross from Quadrado into that corridor of uncertainty to Stegen can't come for it poor defending from Garcia as well Moise Keane inside of the right foot thank you very much 1-1 and Matty, dare I say, Moise Keane, very Robbie Keane like there in the middle. Just get the ball in the back of the net. And Keane made the good run through the center towards the six. Slots at home. Good ball from Quadrado. And we are level at one. Well, I'll let you tell Robbie Keane that you're uh, comparing him to Moise Keane. I, I would imagine the goal scoring record slightly different, but you're right. Well, I didn't that say, that I didn't say Robbie Keane was Moise Keane like. I said just Moise Keane just the name. was Robbie Keane like. That does make a difference. It does, you're right. 1-1, one, one, Barcelona back on the football here. And you can use any excuse you like about the Heat. Great teams make great plays. Both of these teams have done that thus far. Dembele, he did it just moments ago. Dembele! Dembele! He does it again! It's 2-1! Go to sleep now, Juventus defense! Usmane Dembele is here at the Cotton Bowl. I don't care whether it's a testimonial, a pre-season friendly or a Champions League final. When you draw level, you then stay tough, you stay resolute and you take it to half-time at 1-1. This is dreadful defending. Quadrado half-hearted there. Nobody forces Dembele to get his head down whatsoever. No one gets close enough. Look at this defending from Quadrado. Just dangles the leg. Dembele says, thanks very much. I'll cut the ball back onto my left foot and I'll find that far corner. Magnificent from the young man. He can go both ways. Quadrado with his hands up. He doesn't want to tackle him. He's in the penalty area. Absolutely dreadful for Dembele. That's a talent right there. Nothing Chesney could do on that one, to be fair. It's 2-1 Barcelona in the 42nd minute. It's 2-1 Osmani Dembele. Juve. Di Maria gets pushed down. The referee with a late whistle there. Wanted to let play on. Too much in it there from Barcelona's defense. And it'll be a free kick for Juventus. Far side, right near midfield. They have to now settle down again and try to get back into this one before the break. Right, you wait minutes and minutes and minutes, don't you, for that London bus to come, and then all three come at once. Absolutely magnificent. 34th minute, 39th, and the 40th minute. The bus is full of goals, and here comes Quadrado again on this left side. Quadrado! The Carrier from 24. I agree. Smashes high and wide. There's never any belief here in Zakaria that he was going to get that knee over the ball, that he was going to strike through it with the laces. It's always arcing away from goal to Stegen. Just watch that one sail over the crossbar. Just Stegen. Players on either side, he'll use Christensen. Building out of the back, Barcelona. Test. Loose pass there, nicely cleaned up. Lewandowski all the way back. Not exactly where you want him living, that's for sure, but good work by Lewandowski to make sure he cleans it up defensively for Barca. Give him some credit. He wants to touch the ball. He's going to go anywhere to touch the ball. He wants to get into the game, but you're right. He wants to be playing in between the width of the penalty area. Is there more in it here before the halftime? Bremer comes all the way across there. Good throw. Cassie. Busquets, Alba, cross past the six there, Aubameyang made the run, stays in play. That's good work by Alexandro. Bremen Benucci switching spots there in the uh, center of defense right now. Ball got on the field there, a second ball may have been a little distracting there on the far side. Di Maria didn't really notice though, and it'll be a throw in for Juventus. 44th minute. A late flurry of goals here in this first half. Usmani Dembele with two, Moise Keane with one, and that's where we stand, 2-1 Barcelona. Played all the way back now, Chesney. Manu 
Bucci. That is a bad giveaway there. He hadn't done that this half, that's for sure. He was breaking lines rather well. This one, not so much. Dembele. Kessie. Oh, what a save from Chesney. Should have been 3-1. Dembele, the goal scorer, turns provider to Kessie. And Chesney is equal to the task. It really was, and I've watched a number of highlight reels of Frank Kessie. And quite often, he will just have a little dink over the goalkeeper. Here he goes with power. Credit Chesney. I thought he was culpable for the first goal, but this is a wonderful save from Chesney. Really is just over the crossbar, so it'll be a corner kick on the far side. In swinger, here it comes. They'll play it short instead. He gets out wide again. Dembele now on the left. Christensen. The Barca fans certainly want at least one more here, Matt, in the final moments of the first half. Two minutes of stoppage time to be added on here. Dest. Oh, what a turn by Busquets. Nothing the youngster Ravella could do but grab the shirt and tug him down. Free kick Barcelona. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. The fourth official has indicated that two Just all about having your head on a swivel. Busquets knows exactly what is going on around him. He knows where everybody is. He's always got that picture in his head as the ball's coming towards him. It's not the ball comes to him and then he decides what to do. He's already decided what he's going to do with the ball before it comes to him. Such a good player, Busquets. Nico taken down hard there. Maybe a little frustration being worked out on the youngster there from Alexandro. Yeah, can't get anywhere near Dembele, so I'll kick the youngster. It will be a free kick here, Busquets. Again, perfectly switched the pitch here. Oh, just in front of Lewandowski. He liked the thought, not the execution, and Chesney's on it. He's just not getting into the game, Lewandowski. Everything's down the flanks from Barcelona's point of view. And certainly not to the detriment of the side, that's for certain. You don't need to spend 50 million on Lewandowski the way they're playing right now. It's just all about how can they get him into the game. Dembele. On the hat-trick, Dembele. Slows it up a bit, Aubameyang. He'll pull it back. We're into the second of the two minutes of stoppage time. Matt, your thoughts on this first 45? Well, it's been quite a remarkable game of football, considering it's a pre-season friendly, considering it's 100 degrees or 175, as I said beforehand. I think Barcelona have been the better team. They were the better team for the first 15 minutes. Then Juventus came into the game for 10 or 12 minutes. And then Barcelona, after the hydration break, really came back into it. It's been a fun game. It's been a real game of football. It hasn't felt like a pre-season friendly. We may extend past the two minutes if the referee decides. Nope, he says we are done. The first 45 minutes are in the books. FC Barcelona through Osmani Dembele with a brace. Lead Juventus 2-1 at the half. This is the Soccer Champions Tour on FS2. Barcelona 2. 